everyone, Nicole Steckline, technical agronomist for DeKalb and Asgrove in Northeast Iowa. I am in a soybean field in the derecho area. So obviously we've got a lot of volunteer corn. Um, this stuff has been sprayed recently and we're starting to see some death from some of that corn killer herbicide. Um, one of the things though is that coverage is going to be super important because we've got large clumps of this volunteer corn because a lot of it is coming off of full ears. Um, not only that, but we've got a lot of seed sitting out there and if we do turn rainy later on in the summer, we have the opportunity to continue getting flushes of the volunteer corn. Now what concerns me a lot right now is something that we might not be thinking about and that's rootworm, especially since this isn't typically a large rootworm area. But usually when we've got a bean crop, we come back in the next year, no soil plight insecticide and without traits because typically this soybean crop breaks that insect cycle and we don't usually have a whole lot of rootworm, uh, rootworm pressure in these rotated fields. But all this corn sitting here is allowing any, any rootworm that were here the year prior, it's given them something to eat. So I would like you guys and I encourage you guys to go out this summer and do root digs on any of these fields that we had trouble killing this volunteer corn. So let's be doing rootworm digs. We're just starting to see those lightning big bugs coming out, which means that we're just getting some rootworm hatch. So go out there and do those digs and uh, look for root feeding. And then when it comes to August, be out there scouting for rootworm beetles. This allows us to plan for 2022, whether that means spraying these beans this summer with an insecticide for some adult control, using a traded corn in this bean ground in 2022, or throwing a soil applied insecticide in on some of those non-traded corns. That's all for now. Call, text, or email with questions.